Hey guys. I'm too lazy to make a long intro. Please enjoy the video and don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. If you don't then I'm going to manifest your death. Disclaimer. I don't own any of the characters, the art, or the songs used. This is simply a fan fiction. Don't share my work in a form other than the video's link. Inappropriate language is being used and provocative images are sometimes displayed. If you find any of this uncomfortable or offensive please leave. Proceed only if you're 16 years old or older. Hey guys. I'm so excited for this series hehe. I hope you enjoy it and don't forget to like this video and maybe leave a comment. Could be anything really. It took some time but I feel better now. So get ready to laugh your asses off. To avoid confusion. This is a Shijima in Iwezumi's body. And this is Iwezumi in a Shijima's body. Hope this makes it clear enough. This series is somehow related to the previous one so make sure to check it out. You'll find the playlist in the description box and in one of the cards throughout the video. I hope you enjoy it. Dots. Tuesday, 5 a.m. Today there will be a practice match between Aoba Jose and Shiratori Zoya and Ikoa swore to serve a ball right into a Shijima's face. Ikoa woke up to the sound of his alarm. Yawn. Iwa-chan. Wake up. He looked at his sleeping boyfriend's face and smiled to himself. First Akashi and now you. Flawless beauties. Iwa-chan wake up. He started shaking him and try to get out of his arms. I like your biceps but this is too much. A head can and I made. A Shijima is a really deep sleeper. For fuck's sake wake up. He flicked Iwa-chan's forehead which made him jolt awake. What the hell ten? Huh? Wait. What? Rise and shine sleepy muscles. Seriously? Since when did you sleep through my alarm? I think there's some explanation to do because I have no idea how I ended up in your bed Oikora. And I have no idea how I'm hugging you like that right now. Huh? We spent the night together of course. Especially before practice matches. We do? I think there's some sort of misunderstanding. Iwa-chan what the hell? Why are you talking like that? Iwezumi never talked in such a serious tone when he was in private with Oikoa which made him feel weird. Iwa-chan? I'm not. If he finds out you'll stay stuck like that forever. Huh? Who's talking? Iwa-chan. Get off me I want to go shower. I'm so sorry oh my god. He didn't realize he still had Oikoa in his arms. Would you like to join me? Join you? For god's sake Iwa-chan. Since when were you so dense? I'm not dense. A lot of people call me that but I'm not. Tendao says I'm kinda dense though. Tendao? That red dude from Shiratorizora? He freaks me out. And wait a minute. How do you know him? He's my... Dumbus. Iwa-chan. Are you talking to that idiot? Seriously? You know how much I despise a Shijima and his boyfriend. Huh? Excuse me for a moment. He got out of bed and paused in front of the door he assumed was the bathroom. Hey I always shower first. Sorry. He went into the bathroom and locked the door behind him. Iwa-chan that's annoying I want to pee. Just give me a minute. At this point he was starting to put the pieces together, how Ikoa was referring to him as if he wasn't there and how he called him Iwa-chan. Iwa-chan? What a terrible nickname for Iwezumi-san. He looked at the mirror and wasn't surprised. Whoever called me a dumbass has some explaining to do. Whoa. Totally different from that frosted owl and that pudding head. Frosted Owl and Pudding Head? He racked his brain to find if he knows someone of that description. You mean Bakuto and Kozum? Ha 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 smart one. Why am I in Iwezumi san's body? I believe there's a reason. MHM? There isn't. I was just bored. Excuse me. You were bored? He was completely calm. 
At least show some anger, will you? But I'm not angry. Fine. Here are the rules. Well, there are no rules, but no one is allowed to find out. If anyone finds out, you'll stay stuck like that forever. And when do I get back to my original body? In 24 hours. Okay. Iwa Chan. I want to pee. Ikora was banging on the door. Just a moment, please. You being nice isn't making my bladder hold on longer. I said give me a moment. Fuck you Iwa Chan. And how the hell am I supposed to reply to that? You too. Or when? When what? When will you fuck me? I. What the fuck? Why would I fuck you? That's what we always do. Fuck. Yeah. Now get out I'm about to pee here. Iwazumi, a Shijima, opened the door and he saw how Okoa looked. He felt weird seeing Okoa taller than him. He was wearing a really loose-fitting shirt that exposed his shoulders and let's just say that Okoa looked like a hot mess. I know you like staring at me but get out of the way please. Ah. Uh. Okay. He stepped aside and Okoa ran into the bathroom and locked the door behind him. What the hell was that? He was blushing but he didn't notice it at all being the dense motherfucker he is. He sat down on a random chair he found and started going over what the fuck just happened in the bathroom. So apparently I'm Iwa Chan for the day. And Ikora hates me. That hurt but okay. Oh. Suddenly a stupid idea popped up in a Shijima's dense brain. If you know you know. This could be a chance. Finally. But Semi and Shirabu. Never mind they'll keep the bench warm. 30 minutes later. A head can I made. Okura spends ages in the bathroom. Iwazumi, a Shijima, was already wearing the Seijo uniform that was neatly folded in the corner of the room and Okura just got out of the bathroom smelling like coconut and vanilla and he was wearing a bathrobe. Talk about extra Kora. Iwazumi, a Shijima, blushed and looked away. This conditioner is trash. You do realize you'll have to shower again after practice and after the practice match? And? Nothing. Iwa Chan can you believe Kenken went out of his way to call me and tell me that I lost my title as the prettiest setter to aka Chan. He said while applying moisturizer to his face cause hydration. Even Ita Chan agrees. Ita Chan? Semi? Yeah duh. But I thought you hated Shiratorizora. Ita-chan and Parallelogram Kun are different. I like them more than Tobio-chan. So you like the setters and dislike their captain, huh? Oh hell I do. Come to Shiratorizora my ass. I'm serving a ball into his face today. I don't care whether it's not acceptable or not. Iwazumi, a Shijima, gulped. His face? Yes. But that must be painful. As if I care about that. Ikora was about to start getting dressed. I. I'll wait for you downstairs. He then rushed outside the room. Iwa Chan what the fuck. Do I smell bad? He smelled his armpits. I smell like coconut and vanilla. You like coconut and vanilla. Back to our very gay ashi. Oh my god what was that? I can't look at him the same way anymore oh my god. Bless your pure heart Tendao you never made me gay panic without a warning like that. Those shoulders oh my god. Yup here you go. Ashi kun gay panicking. Dots. Onto the real Iwa Chan. It was 5 in the morning when a Shijima, Iwazumi, woke up to the loud sound of an alarm. Which he didn't immediately notice it wasn't his but he woke up startled. He was used to Ikora's soft alarm tone which for some reason managed to wake him every morning. He even set a similar alarm tone for himself. But this one was deafening. What the fuck is that? He threw the alarm clock across the room and the poor clock crashed into a wall. Author's note. Yup. The first sentence I always say to start my day. Calm your tits Iwa Chan. The clock didn't murder your ancestors. His voice was loud enough that Shirabu and Goshiki banged on his door. Captain. I came to save you. 
Idiot. Tendao is in his own room why the hell would he be here? What if a Shijima-san is in danger? He doesn't shout like that. Stop kissing up his ass please. Yamagata screamed at him from across the hallway before he went back in his room and shut his door. You'd never know. Why the hell are you screaming at 5 in the morning? Said a very grumpy Semi. The hallway turned into chaos. It was mainly Semi and Shirabu scolding the shit out of Goshiki Anna Yamagata trying to sleep for 30 more minutes and Koanashi was watching unamused. Ashijima, Iwa-chan, looked around his room. Wait a damn minute. He rubbed his eyes and blinked a couple of times. He spotted the shattered alarm clock. Who the hell uses these? Knock knock. Wakatoshi-kun. And without further warning, Tendao barged into the room. Tendao simply walked in and plopped on the bed beside Ashijima, Iwa. A loud morning isn't it? Huh? Dude was shocked. What the fuck? What the fuck? Wakatoshi-kun that's rude. Why say that first thing in the morning? I was going to give you croissants and cookies but I guess I won't. A head can and I made. Tendao feeds a Shijima a lot. A Shijima. Iwa. Was still processing what the hell is going on and why he's in an unfamiliar room and why there's a red-haired Bakuto sitting on the bed with him and calling him Wakatoshi-kun. What the fuck? Wakatoshi-kun what's wrong? You usually don't say such bad words. Did something happen? I take it back. I'll give you the desserts. Now get up and go shower before those dumbasses flood the bathroom again. Again? Uh. He silently got up and went to the door. I don't know what the hell is going on. He stopped when he saw three boys on top of each other in the hallway. Seemed like they were fighting. He recognized them from his previous matches with Shiratorizora. The pile on the ground was basically Goshiki getting beat up by Shirabu and Semi trying to get Shirabu off Goshiki. Captain. Help me. What the hell? Why are you beating up this um? Dora's long lost brother. Huh? Dora? Just Shirabu regretting his life decisions. Dora? Ashijima-san. What happened? Since when did you know who Dora was? Who doesn't know her? She's a blind MF. I gotta go. He ran down the hallway and found the bathroom. He splashed cold water in his face and glanced at his reflection in the mirror and went full on demon screeching. A.A. A.A. Rion screamed from of the bathroom stalls which made Ashi, Iwa, scream again. What the fuck? Captain? Ashijima, Iwa, was about to punch Rion for startling him like that. Fucking hell. Not today. He made his way to the showers. What the fuck is that? Ikora better not know or he'll bug me about it. Iwa-chan this is unfair. That red-haired idiot probably enjoys himself this is so unfair shit Ikora brat. He was basically talking to himself and cough cough you know what he was talking about. I see you went mad already. Who the fuck is here? He looked around. The other one is smarter huh? Show yourself you fucking coward. He was frantically looking around. Relax relax. I'm just in your head. Um? How? You don't need to know. From the looks of it, I'm a Shijima now. I see you still have some brain cells left. Yes. Just for 24 hours. Unless. Someone finds out. What will happen then? Easy. You'll stay stuck like that. For. Ever. Bruh. I won't guarantee Shatako not finding out but okay. Dots. In the hallways. Yawn. That ass wakes up at the crack of dawn. Wakatoshi-kun. For fuck's sake. He mutters under his breath. W-H yes Tenda. Almost got caught. It's time for breakfast, Wakatoshi-kun. Yeah right. Tenda looked around and then kissed Ashijima, Iwa, on the cheek. Ashijima, Iwa, was then the embodiment of demonic screeching. A.A. 
Wakatoshi-kun what the fuck? Why are you screaming? Is someone here? Why did you kiss me? Oh my god he's going to kill me. He saw his life flash right before his eyes. Who will? Ike no one will. No one can anyway. Ikoa can. You said it was time for breakfast. Let's go. Dots. In the cafeteria. The whole team was sitting together and Semi, Shirabu, and Goshiki were still arguing. I told you I heard him scream. He could have died. And what can you do about that? You two just shut the fuck up already. I heard Captain scream too. It was horrifying. I felt my soul levitating. Levitating? But that's a good thing. Levitating to hell. We all know you have a voice kink. Capital I. I don't. Cough cough. All heads turned to him. Captain. Are you okay? Goshiki can stop kissing up his ass. That's what I've been telling him since the beginning of the year. Sips his coffee. Koanashi what did I say about coffee before practice? What? I give it back. Shirabu snatched the coffee from Koanashi. I'll get you another one after the practice match is over. We can't afford you having an upset stomach. Shirabu-san I'll handle it. No. Let me. Let him have his motherly moment please. Shut up. Your motherly instincts are aching. Poor mom. Semi-san enough. Come on Semi-Semi we all know you're dying to be the father figure. Shut up I'm not. I don't want to be a father figure. I can't take care of others. Who said you can? You want to be the papa to mama Shirabu. If you get what I mean. I ship it. Me too. I low-key do. I high-key do. Yeah. Fuck y'all. So you're my dad now? Semi grabbed Goshiki by the collar. You little shit. Shut the fuck up. I'm trying to eat in peace. What the hell is wrong with you? Gasp. Wakatoshi-kun. You two shut up. I want to eat. Damn the food here is good. I call that ungrateful bastard. He really should have gone to Shiratorizora. Breakfast was just silence. It was weird for a Shijima to shout and snap like that. They were scared and shocked. Dots. Back to Ikora and Iwaizumi, Ashi. Ikora met Iwa, Ashi, downstairs and they were on their way to school. Ashi wanted to eat but he didn't know what to say. Growl. Iwa-chan are you hungry? Yes. You should have said something. He opened his bag and gave Iwa milk bread. Thank you. Or oh, Iwa-chan is being so polite today. What did I do to deserve you? I don't know. But the best deserves the best. I knew he liked himself but that's too much. Say, Oikora. MHM? Why didn't you go to Shiratorizora? This is my chance. I didn't want to be in the same school as that bastard. And wait. You already know. And... I didn't want to be separated from you. Iwa-chan. Are you insecure? Chokes. You didn't go because of Iwa-chan. What the fuck? And wait why do you hate Emma Shijima? Ashiwaka is nothing but strength. He's an idiot. Stabbed right in the chest. I prefer Chibi-chan over him. So you pick that shrimp over Ashijima? I'd pick anyone over Ashijima. Why does my chest hurt? You must really hate him then. We could have been friends under different circumstances. But yeah. I do hate him I guess. I see. You have another. Another what? Milk break. Ha 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 yeah I do. He gave him another one. Just how many do you have? Five. In case of emergencies. Okay. Dots. They walked in silence which made Ikora feel weird. They arrived at the school's gym. Iwa-chan I'll go to the locker room. Okay. Dots. What the fuck was that? 
He calls someone. Akua, why the hell are you calling me at? Daichi, what time is it? Six in the morning. Sugar Chan, I need help. I think Iwa Chan was kidnapped by the aliens and now there's an imposter. Wait, wait, slow down. Let me add Akashi to the call. Seriously? Six in the morning? AKA Chan. My boyfriend got kidnapped by the aliens. And now the one here is an imposter. Aikora. Aliens aren't real. AKA Chan they are. Mind telling what happened. He's being nice. I don't see where the problem is. He ate milk bread. And? Iwa Chan hates milk bread. Maybe he was that hungry. Iwa Chan would never eat milk bread even if he's starving to death. And he doesn't like having breakfast. But today he ate not only one milk bread but two. I gotta go now Bakuto san is waking up. Wait. Akashi left the call. Sugar Chan what do I do? Relax and go with the flow. I'm sure nothing happened. Maybe he thought he'd give Milk Bread another chance. Listen I need to go now. Okay okay. Bye. Call ended. Ikora heard his team outside so he headed out there. No captain. Mad Dog and Yahaba are running late. I seriously told them to keep it in their pants before practice games. Says the guy who pounded into my ass last night. Sigh. Why am I even here? Is coach here yet? Coach Irihata isn't coming today. But coach Mizoguchi will be here in a bit. Ikura-san you don't check the group chat? I do. He doesn't. He's too busy chatting in the pretty setters group. Just a confused Ushi. Iwa-chan. Yes. Which setter do I hate the most? Ikora. Oh no. He hates Shiratori's or so. Wait. He earlier mentioned that he hated Kajima. Kajima Tobio from Karasuno. That was an easy one. Um. How many X's do I have? None. Wrong. Captain I'm so sorry for being late. I was doing stuff. Hey there Yahaba. Or should I call you stuff? Madsen ha 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 ha. Poor Watari face palms himself. Seriously coach is being late. This is absurd. Mind telling me what is absurd? Yahoo coach. I mean this team is absurd. I'll let this slide for now. The bus is outside. Gather your stuff and stretch and I'll meet you outside. Dots. See y'all in part 2 lol. I'm too lazy to make an outro.